back with another book video. So I'm going to read another book today. And today, since Christmas is right around the corner, I'm going to be reading Mooseltoe, created by Margie Palantini and illustrated by Henry Cole. So let's start reading this, see how it goes. Twas the season and Moose was very merry. He joyfully took up the ivories with a tune full of tidings and a flurry of fa-la-las. He was so full of ho-ho-hos, even his moustache had the holiday spirit. But Moose was more than just a bit merry and bright. He was also busy, busy, busy. There was a lot that had to be done on a list of to-dos. But with orderly organization, a bit of regimentation, lots of imagination, and just plain old moose know-how, getting ready for the big day should have been simple, easy, yes, in all probability, just perfectly perfect. He wasted not one merry minute. Moose got to moving and he put some hustle into his holiday bustle. He went to work. He wrote cards and letters till his hooves hurt. Check. He shopped till he dropped. Check. He hauled home boxes and bags of presents galore. Moose had gifts for everyone stacked from the ceiling to the floor. Check, check, check. Then he wrapped yo, 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 and he ribboned ho, ho, ho. And e on, on each package, he tied a big, beautiful bow. Check and double check. So far, so simple, so easy, so perfectly perfect. Another look at the list and Moose head for the kitchen. He pulled out pots and pans and bowls, sift th through stacks and racks of cookbooks. He whisked with his left and spooned with his right. Moose baked tons of tins of cookies, check. Dozens of cakes, breads, and sweets, check, check, check. He made jelly sticky jams. Moose roasted a goose and some chestnuts. He toasted marshmallows and yams. Check, check, check. Triple check. Yes, yes. So simple. So easy. And, but of course, so perfectly perfect. Decorations were up next on his list of things to do. And he get got it done. So Moose decided to deck the halls, then spruce up the walls. He beaded, bowed, and mussel-toed. He gathered garlands, he roped wreaths and holly. Jingled bells, sang knolls, oh good golly, this moose was jolly. Chuck, 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 chuck. Wow, seems really excited about Christmas. Last but not least, he hung all the stockings, each and every one, with special care. And just in time, too, soon, Santa would be there. Check and final check. Yes, sirree. Getting ready for Christmas was an absolute snap. And so simple, so easy. And if he did say so himself, Moose thought totally, utterly, perfectly perfect. That night, before Christmas, Moose, Little Sissy, and Mother, Little Sissy, Bucky, and Junior looked all through the house. What, what, what a job Moose had done. Everything looked bountiful festive. Quite fine, indeed. There was just one minor problem, if you will. Oh, dear, sighed the missus, as the five stared at one empty corner. Oh my! Oh me! Oh gee! Pop, what happened? cried Junior. You forgot the tree! Uh oh, where are they gonna put the scissors? Oops! Where would they hang the tinsel, string the popcorn, light the lights? Where would Santa leave the gifts for the kitties on Christmas Eve night? 
So Moose pulled on his galoshes and put on his hat. He went to find a tree, somewhere, somehow, and that's all there was to that. So he, so out he went, braving, blustering, blowing winds and the cold, trudging through snowdrifts, courageous and bold. So let's go find a tree. Moose first hoofed it down to the corner. Not a tree to be had. Then he slid around the block. Uh oh, things were looking bad. He went down every boulevard, street, and little road. He looked down lanes and alleys. Every tree had been sold. There was not a branch, not a twig, not even a lousy bowless bog hanging around. Nope, not a nothing. Not a tree to be found. What's gonna happen next? No tree, sighed a sad moose, as he came home empty-handed that snowy eve. The kids tried to make the best of it. They said, oh, so who needs a tree? But moose could plainly see they were short on the glee. He knew he had to do something, and that's just what he did. In the empty corner he stood and spread his arms out very wide, then smiled at his children and winked at his bride. Kids, he declared, bet your forgetful pop some of that tried and true family glock. So back the kids came carrying a big pot of glue. And without one word to one another, they knew just what to do. They each took apart, grabbing strands, holding, taking hold. Then carefully, oh so carefully, they glocked. And they plopped. They pasted and they pressed. They curled and they twirled which, which way a fossil could phantom. Until Moose's magnificent mo moustache was indeed even more of a marvel to see. Moose was just a few needles shy of being an evergreen tree. They strung Moose with lights from his head to his toes. They draped him with tinsel, beginning right with his nose. They hung balls were, that were shiny and bells that twinkled, candy canes, berries, and plum sugar sprinkled. They Then they all stood back, Junior plugged in his pop. Ooh, ah, yes, Moose truly was one incredible sight. He was glorious and glowing, and boy, oh boy, was he ever bright. Then Junior placed a star on top of Moose's head and gave him a kiss and a pat, and they headed off to bed. Except Moose, of course. He stayed in the corner instead, still twinkling and blinking, and waiting for Santa. Oh, so it wasn't so simple, and it wasn't so easy, and okay, okay. It wasn't so perfectly perfect. But you know what? It was pretty close. Ho, ho, ho. So that was the book, Mistletoe. It's a really good book. And I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me uh, reading this book. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. You should read it too.